on air, online, and squeezed into your smartphone too when you are FM 103.7. Our exercise physiologist, Mark Goswell, is here. And Mark, the last few times we've had you along, you've been uh, trekking through this series on pain. And today, you want to give us this concept that pain is actually a good thing. So please explain. <laughs> pain is a good thing in terms of the fact that we need pain to alert us that something's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, People that are born in the fact that they can't usually feel pain actually don't survive very long because they don't get that warning system. And so the way you want to think about it is pain is like a smoke alarm. So if the smoke alarm goes off in the kitchen, it's just warning you that there's potential danger. If you ignore the smoke alarm, the kitchen burns down and everything... Yeah, you got to get a new kitchen and there's a whole lot of danger and it's very risky. And But the realities are if you just go and put out that fire, get on top of it, mm. you've uh, addressed the issue and then the pain is no longer a problem. So I'm trying to get in, in my head here that uh, a couple of weekends ago when I went to bed, slept wrong, had a, a pain underneath my shoulder blade that caused me to walk a bit wonky all day, not pay attention. I then fell over completely sprained the you know what out of my ankle (laughs) as I fell to the ground the pain intensified in my shoulder obviously my ankle but I fell into my right knee skinned that knee with some massive carpet burn that still hasn't healed all of that pain that I experienced and plus a few other words that was that was good no that wasn't good (laughs) but see the fact is if you when you woke up and you had that sore and you had that ache in your neck yeah and if you rang me and said hey Mark what stretches do Mm. I do and I gave you the appropriate stretches and you dealt with that pain right then and there and didn't actually come at it and go oh I'll just ignore it because it'll go away because I'm awesome (laughs) and and you address that then you wouldn't have had the fall you wouldn't have had the collapse you wouldn't have had the carpet burn Mm. you wouldn't have to explain yourself and you'd think I was awesome I think he's onto something right there. So use it as the, the smoke alarm. So what we sort of have this aversion to pain. No one likes to be in pain. No, look, man, pain, look, pain sucks. And, and pain mm. is, you know, that's why I want to sort of talk about this this whole series is that it's, it's incredibly complex and there's multiple aspects to it and there's multiple ways to deal with it. But just by ignoring it, it's not going to go away. It's the same thing as when you get the advice of just push through the pain and you'll learn mm. to deal with it. That's coming from someone who clearly hasn't, lived with pain, dealt with pain, or actually has a concept of reality. It's like pain is a bad thing. Pain pain sucks, but we've got to learn how to manage it. And there's so many multiple factors associated with learning to manage it. And one of those things is just listening to it. Don't let it control your life. Learn to control the pain. And there's multiple, as I said, there's so many ways to deal with it. It's very hard to conceptualize it over the radio. But yeah, look at it as a warning system. It's tricky because there's a hell of a lot of things that if we can try and, try and unpack all of that very quickly, it's it's good because it, it stops us at the point of doing the activity or the, whatever the motion, whatever it is that, that's got us there in the first yeah. place. Um, then on the other hand, we don't want to sort of listen to advice of those to say push through it and live through it. But on the other hand, it's it's necessary. So it's really it's really tricky to navigate where the middle yeah, ground is. Yeah, here. and that's where like seeing a health professional comes mm. into it to sort of develop your understanding and increase your knowledge around it. It's like if you're creating a movement that causes pain, then find another way to do that same movement don't keep repeating the same process so yeah if you're getting up and down out of a chair and you're getting pain within the knee then possibly you're not recruiting the muscles around that uh, part of the joint to limit the amount of load through the actual joint itself so modify your behaviors change the positions develop some strength develop some control there's so many factors to it that yeah that, that it, it is it is very complex and yeah but we're just trying to unpack it that mm. little bit I've got to say, you would have you would have laughed your socks off if you'd have seen me fall down the other week. Oh, I would have, and then I would have turned around and said, "You're all right," and then I would have said, "That was really funny. Thank you for yeah. making my day." Why didn't you? Why didn't you do some stretching? <laughs> Should have done some stretches. Yes, stuff. exactly. <laughs> Always a pleasure with our exercise physiologist Mark Oswell on the topic of pain. At Two and R F M one hundred three point seven. Two and R F M, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle.